Oh, you were recording before? I was recording. Oh, no, you're not. I don't want to like have that big of a video file to work with. It's like, oh, it's like two gigs. It's like that's like an extra important movie, dude. I, I like to operate in the 700 megabyte range in that general vicinity. All the more room for your porn, right? Yeah. Uh, my hard drive crashed a while back. Gigabytes gone. I was so sad. That was like. Working up into a terabyte? Nah, uh, my hard drive wasn't that big, but like, all my graphic design pieces, I lost those. The thing I was upset about was my porn. Really, yeah, it shows my priorities in life. It's Kai. Kai. Huh? Are you recording again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. Sorry for the uh, talk of my collection there, stream. All right, we're here with Vermin Nubis versus Kai, Ganondorf versus Sonic. On the top of my head, there's been a couple instances where Sonics have lost to Ganondorfs. It's a very uh, taxing matchup for Sonics because if they mess up once, they get hit really hard like a fire truck. Definitely. And this fire truck has no brakes. Uh, any drink about Turkey at Game 4 for Smash 64? Game 4. And I'm, I'm having a memory lapse I, like where Kai's from. I mean, obviously, he's a good Sonic. I think he's a uh, tri state. I'm not mistaken. I believe so. And then we have Vermin Nubis from Oregon now. He moved. I don't remember where he moved from. Vermin is getting to a high percent, but definitely not kill percent because I believe Ganondorf is either the second or third heaviest character in the game. He's not neither, actually. Really? Yeah. What is he? Like, there's what? Bowser, Donkey Kong, King DDD, Snake, then Ganon? Yeah, that's right. Off the top of my head. I think. See, I thought Ganon was heavier than Snake, but. Uh... I mean, Snake's a fatty. He is. So I know uh, Bowser is the heaviest, but then uh, Donkey Kong is the heaviest if you factor in the momentum cancel from his upbeat. I mean, to find heavy, uh, like, in terms of weight, launch resistance, heavy? Right. I mean, there are different ways to factor weight. I mean, King TDD has the highest, like, fastball acceleration. That could be something called, you know, heavy, per se. That's true, that's true. It's a, it's a subjective uh, discussion. There's, like, I like, there's like five different multipliers that really go into uh, movement in the game in terms of you just follow it. It's pretty funny. Vermin Nubis is uh, bringing us back here. He's had a bit of a deficit for most of the game, and now he's only... Well, he's chipping away and bringing it back. Only down about uh, 40% right now. Dash attack doing uh, bad amounts of damage. Well, the interesting thing about being behind by this, he's not. The Sonic is going to be a kill percent pretty soon. Exactly, whereas, you know, Ganondorf is really not even quite a kill percent. I stand close. He was there, but back here is one of the only options. Back here and forward smash. Yeah. Nice forward he picks up, that, he picks up that stock and uh, pretty close to even now. Only down at 18 percent, 22. 
It's always fun. it's always scary finding you know a good Ganon because it's Ganon. If you lose, there's no excuses. But no one ever knows what's going on. And then you know you lose to, and then you know suddenly you've lost again, and you feel bad about yourself because you lost again. It's just not a good time.
Be freaking Kai. And definitely in this case, definitely in this case, I don't know these two players have a history of playing each other. I know they've been around for a while, but I can't think of what's on the head if they've ever played each other. Yeah, I mean, Matt and I has a substantial advantage in the matchup, so it's, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh, there you go. Kai going with that, did he? For everyone in the melee, East versus West crew battle, please report to the class. Can't believe we forgot Kai had a ditty. My brain's not functioning East anymore. We've been here for a West while, folks. Sorry about that. Crew battle players, melee, please report to the class tournament stream in the back. And actually, Seabrook, one of my favorite Meta Knights to watch. Uh, he, he's very good at analyzing other players and spreading them down over time. But it's kind of a situation where if the annotations occur quickly enough, he'll win. But I don't know if they'll come quickly enough sometimes. In a very close set with uh, Kool Aid in winners' finals earlier. Very entertaining to watch. Yeah. No shark at SSB 64. And I bet if it won game five. It might be Seabrick coming out on top of that. It's hard to say. Some players are like that, you know? For sure. But Seabrick, one of the one of the men I have a lot of a lot of respect for. And right now, Kai actually working with the lead. Tags him up back here, almost pulls us and sneaks away with the kill. See, I had no idea Kai played anything but Sonic. But I can see how uh, Sonic Meta Knight would be a pretty awful matchup. He's been falling for that combo like Ooh, and a, uh... A tech error causing him to uh, do the barrel blast right into a charge F smash. Very, uh, very good foresight of Seabrick to go ahead and go ahead and throw that out. And right now he's putting out some damage, he's trying to build up a little bit. Kai fishing for that kill. Oh, got a stack of boxes. Oh. Drink wild turkey. Please report to Smash 64. That mean button, NATO, pest option. Seabrick's uh, really taking control here, getting some nice just chip damage on Kai. Keeping him guessing. 37 isn't that much of the Diddy Kong 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 and uh, had Kai gotten a uh, proper reaction to that, that would have been Tweeted super star. And if I'm Kai there, sometimes I think it's better just to like, not necessarily follow the banana and just try to read off the tech rolls. You gotta trust yourself, make, make a play to put yourself back in it, you know? Making a follow up right there with a dash attack is kind of a weak punish, especially when you need the kill. Sometimes it's worth for going the guaranteed and just going for uh, heavy punishes when you're behind. Not using the uh, F tilt to finally get the KO at 187% on Seabrook, but he is already at 115% on his second stock. Student and Tom Bobadil, Smash 64. Student and Tom Bobadil. Gets that shuttle loop, and that puts away the stock, and he has a pretty commanding lead at this point. Uh, tornado talk, you know, 
Seagull Joe, please come to the Royal Teal Station. Seagull Joe, please come to the Royal Teal Station. He canceled that. That tornado canceled into a shuttle loop cancel, or not shuttle loop, drill rush cancel. You can do that by augmenting uh, your orientation to the ledge so that you uh, don't go as far. It's actually pretty difficult to do. Very impressive tech skill. See, we're with a uh, whole stock lead right now. Uh, right now, Seabrick pretty much has this. It's going to take a uh, very strong comeback from Kai to uh, bring this back. Of course, the winner of this set will uh, make it out of pools, and the loser will not. A lot on the line here. Got to be a lot of pressures for both players. Attention everyone. If you're rooming on the third floor and you have to find me 2 kings black jacket, please return it to him. He's not sure what room it's in. If he was in your room, check and see if his hoodie is there. Could please get Rob Joe. Which we bumped into me earlier. His greatness didn't rub off on me. Dang. I was sad. West Coast. I'd like to see his legendary boxer control us.